SQL on iPhone, quick setup and test. The first thing to do is to open ISHL on your iPhone. If you don't have it installed already, just go to the App Store and simply search for ISH Shell. And okay, this first one that says um, Linux in your pocket. So install it if you, do, if you don't have it installed, but I'll just open mine. Then you can see I have Alpine Linux running on my device. I'll start by updating the package references and upgrading the package versions as well. So APK. APK updates. Let me just combine it together with APK upgrade. So this will just run the both of them. Just give it some time. The next thing is to install SQLite 3 by running the command APK add SQLite. So return and give it some time to install it. Um, the next thing I want to do is to start SQLite 3 and um, create a test database. But what I would do for this tutorial, since um, SQLite is a file based database, so what I would do is simply to create a new directory, mkdir, then I'll just say iPhone SQL DB. Okay, just the name of a tutorial. So cd iPhone SQL DB. So for me to start a new database, I'll just say SQLite, SQLite 3, don't forget. Then the name of the database, for example, tests. But before we do this, let me list out the files I have. You can see I don't have any um, files in this particular directory. So to start the database server, SQLite 3, then the name of the database file I want to create, tests.db. It can be any name actually. So then I'll return. You can see I'm now in SQLite mode. So for this SQLite mode, I can begin to run any of uh, my desired SQL uh, queries. So if I want to show all the existing tables inside this particular database, you can see it's a new database. There's nothing in it. So what I can do is to run the command dot tables. And this is going to be showing me the, the list of tables that I have at the moment. You can see I don't have any tables for now. So let me create a new table. How can I do that? So the SQL query required for you to create a new table is basically, I like to write this SQL keyword using capital letter. So create for all entries. So now I'll close this and I'll close the, um, I'll use my semicolon to end the command. So return. Okay. Let me list out the tables I have at the moment. Dot tables at the moment. You can see now I have users. Initially, I wasn't having any tables, but this SQL query that I run over here, it created the users for me, okay? They created the users table. So let me just insert, like, um, to add two entries to that particular table. So insert, and I'll close the bracket and my semicolon to end the statement. So hold it on. Let me add one more um, entry to this. So now I can also run this one. You can see I have two users now. So how can I confirm that these two users are actually in the users table? I can just run the SQL query, select... Then I'll bring in my wildcard or from the name of the table, which is users. Okay, then close this one and run. You can see I have Alice and I have Chris, which are the two data, um, the two entries that I just added to the database.